Now, the Bakugan reboot, on the other hand, is fu- Hey guys, Bluefin100 back again with another video. Today's video will be a follow up to my last video where I talked about the original Bakugan series. If you haven't watched it, make sure to check that out on my other channel, Bluefin100 Edited. Now, as I've said previously, I never thought the Bakugan series was good. I mean, it is good in some areas, and I did enjoy the first season back in the day, but as I grew older, I just lost interest during the second and third season. So for what it is, Bakugan wasn't a bad series. It's dated, but it was good at the time. The reboot, on the other hand, is piss poor compared to the original. I'm not going to act like the original was good because, like I said, it wasn't, but the new reboot makes the original Bakugan series a masterpiece. The new character designs just remind me of turning mech card mixed with the new Ben 10, and they're just so generic looking compared to the original and the reason why they don't really look like anime drawn characters is because this reboot was only exclusive to North America and wasn't made by Japanese people. Oh there are some Japanese people behind this but other than that this was just made and exclusive for North America which is more of a reason why this reboot was a bad idea. The CGI for the Bakugan monsters just looks terrible. I'll admit CGI in anime doesn't always look good unless if it's like Transformers or something. But with this, it just looks really bad. At least with turning mech card CG, it looks a lot better than this. But again, that's not saying much. Now with the theme song, it sounds terrible. And I know I say this a lot with almost every new anime that came out in the 2010s, but hear me out. They literally sound the same and most of them are either translated themes from Japanese to English or they make the genre of the theme song fit into the trending music type. For example, when the Metal Saga came out, they made rap slash hip hop type of songs because rap was the genre everyone started to listen to when 2010 started. And in my honest opinion, it doesn't really suit the show or even anime in general. It doesn't exactly have that feel where you get hyped up for the show or even the games unlike how rock with its upbeat tempo and thrilling melody gave us. Especially early 2000s rock with the strong vocals and revving electric guitar. Now onto the animation. It just looks so weird and definitely looks like turning that card. To be honest, the new animation style for some animes now, it just looks laggy and piss poor compared to how old animes looked and some modern ones as well. It just gives me a headache watching it. Also, the animation for the new Bakugan is almost on the same boat as the Pokemon Sun and Moon anime. Now the characters, they look five times younger than what the original characters look. I mean, yeah, they are kids, but everyone knows anime characters are not supposed to look their age. I'll give you a prime example. So the main character in this series is still Dan, which is good, but it's not the same Dan we knew and grew up with. This one on the other hand is a baby compared to the original Dan. The original Dan looked badass and the typical quirky, passionate main character in anime. The new one on the other hand just looks like a weak and wimpy joke. Hashtag not my Dan. And his character design looks a bit similar, don't you think? Coincidence? I think not! His Bakugan is still Drago, which is also good. And he's still voiced by Jason Deline. Unfortunately, he's not enough to make the show good. The next character is another one we know, and that is Shun. But again, it's not the same one we knew. This one doesn't have black hair. Shun's black hair represented his dark personality. You know, the whole rival slash best friend slash more talented psychic character you have in every anime. Although this isn't really a huge problem, it just takes out the whole image of the character. Also, this one doesn't have Skyris and he now has Aqua's type Bakugan. I know in the later seasons he doesn't have Skyrus as his main anymore, but since this is a reboot, they should have at least kept Skyrus as his main Bakugan. You know, if you wanted Dan to keep Drago in this, why not do the same for Shun? This new version of Shun looks like a younger version of Maximilian Pegasus. Hashtag not my Shun. The next two main characters don't have original counterparts, so in other words, I don't really care about them. But I will tell you their names. The girl is Leah, and she is a brawler like Runo, Julie, and Alice, obviously. Winton, who is the only black guy in the group. Also, one of the brawlers is a dog. What is this, Pokemon? Thank god it doesn't talk. There are more characters in the series, but I'll briefly mention them. 
There's Benton Dusk, China Riot, Magnus Black, who is basically the new Masquerade, and like Masquerade, he uses Darkest Type Bakugan, Philomena Dusk, who is the sister of Benton, Strata the Hunter, and the last five characters are A, B, C, D, and E. Seriously? What kind of names are those? Just watching the first five episodes of this show makes me want to watch the original seasons instead of watching this trash. The series is poorly paced when it gets to a new episode. Each episode consists of 13 minutes or so, which is basically the length of every Cartoon Network show nowadays, and it just feels short. Anime episodes or shows aren't supposed to be short, unless if it's Pop Team Epic. So why couldn't they just make the episode 24 minutes long? They gotta follow that dumb rule in the new Cartoon Network that every new show has to be 13 minutes long which is ridiculous. The company that dubbed and created this series is none other than Novana Enterprise. Yeah, the company who didn't want to dub Beyblade anymore, or any other anime, decided to dub the new Bakugan and be the producers of it. <sighs> like the original seasons, this reboot aired on Teletoon, Cartoon Network, and for the first time, on shit TV, uh, I mean white TV. Now the new Bakugan toys are pretty much the same and still have the same gimmick from the original ones and they still look pretty good. The only thing they changed was the elements for the Bakugan. Before we had Pyrus, Heos, Aquos, Ventus, Subterra, and Darkest. Now they replaced Subterra with Airless and a new element slash attribute called Diamond. A few things I've heard from fans is that the spring mechanics from the toys are now way more complicated than they used to be. I wouldn't know the difference between those and their original counterparts because I haven't bought any of the new ones yet. The same time they released the toys, Spin Master, the company who is in charge of the toys and the series, released the Bakugan cards separately in TCG form for the first time. Now this is something I kind of like because with the original, where it came with both the toy and three cards, which it still does by the way, this also released cards in booster packs like with other TCGs, and they called the first booster pack Battle Brawlers. Yeah. Also another thing about the new toys is that for the cards, they no longer have magnetic features to them anymore. So what they have is this new hexagon thing. That's where you roll the Bakugan now instead of rolling it on the card. So overall, the new reboot is pretty much a disgrace to the whole franchise and shats all over the original series and the franchise. I know this series is still ongoing, but it still sucks. And I know I say this to almost every new anime series that's a continuation of an old anime, but it's true. The problem with this series is that it's a reboot to the original, the characters, the animation, and pretty much everything else. They don't even showcase or emphasize the Bakugan in their ball forms most of the time. And apparently, they don't even land on the gay cards anymore in the show. Like, what? That was the whole point of the show and the game. And now they decide to just scrap that? Now they just show a random explosion after the Bakugan is thrown. Is every new anime nowadays trying to be like Dragon Ball? Like, this needs to stop. It's time to stop! It's time to stop, okay? No more! Now there are some good things about this new reboot. Like, the toys are still good. I like how the Bakugan monsters still talk to their owners, and I do like how they still kept the same logo and font, which is what a lot of kid animes don't do nowadays. But the show on the other hand is trash. The new reboot is just a shadow of its predecessor. It just doesn't feel like a Bakugan season or even an anime. It just feels like another generic Cartoon Network or Teletoon show. And like I said before, I'm not going to act like the original Bakugan was good because it wasn't. But it's certainly better than this hunk of junk. I would probably put the Bakugan reboot in the worst anime category with the Powered by Beyblade series, Sword Art Online, Pokemon Sun and Moon the series, etc. It's also part of the worst slash unnecessary reboots list. So in conclusion, this franchise just should have stayed dead after Mictanium Surge.